All right, man. Well, YouTube doesn't like me uploading videos more than 18 minutes long, so I'm going to break this up into 18-minute chunks. Uh, there's a full video if you want to see this saw go from a junked-out mechanic special to a running saw. But uh, as far as the, uh, YouTube goes, they wanted an 18 minute chunk. So this is one of the parts and you'll see the rest of the parts or you can go back and watch the video. Whatever you do, get out there, have you some man time too. But we got our new crank seals on there and everything is going my way at the moment. So let me get this back together and then We'll talk about how much I've spent on this build so far. Well, I was just about to... Just about to get ready to fire this thing up. And all of a sudden, fuel starts, like, dumping out. Like, right kind of from the trigger and this seam here. I thought it might have been the fuel line. It is not the fuel line. It's actually the tank right here <laughs> it actually does it when I pull the trigger there's like fluid flow <sighs> well add a new tank to the cost of things here yeah it's just dumping like right out of the seam Right where the, the trigger mounts up, I'm assuming here. Um, hmm. So here's the breakdown <laughs> on this old girl. And I was just looking for gas tanks. Uh, I'm not going to get out of getting a new gas tank for this thing for less than 70 bucks for a used OEM. Um, luckily enough, I do have a, <laughs> I do have an old, you know, Husqvarna orange one that I really don't want to use. Because I do have a, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do here. So, for like a farmer tech, I can get one for like 40, 45 bucks. Uh, used Husqvarna, I can get for about 60 bucks. Um, there was actually some Johnsford ones on there, I can get those for about 100 bucks. And then there was even a brand new Johnsford I could get for about 170. So I'm going to think on that for a little bit. I'm probably going to end up using the one that I already got. Uh, spending another 60 bucks on an already very expensive mechanic special saw. Um, probably not in the budget. But let's start with the list of problems that the mechanic special had going for it. <laughs> First of all, broken bolts. Uh, these top two cover bolts were broke off. Um, had to get those out of there with a left hand drill. Um, new bolts put in there were 12 bucks and I spent uh, a bit and about an hour to an hour and a half getting that off of there. Side cover, missing the side cover, that was 45 bucks. Uh, side cover rubber, uh, missing out of the new side cover, so there was another um, five bucks or so. Uh, piston, 50 bucks. Uh, oiler worm gear, you just saw me um, getting that all put together, that was 20 bucks. Uh, rebuilt the oiler, um, that was time. Seals and O-rings, uh, or seals and that O-ring uh, behind the clutch here, 25 bucks. Trigger lock, uh, 15 bucks, that's uh, this thing here, it wasn't working. I got a kit that had that spring and the trigger lock uh, for 15. Pull cord, 5. Decomp and sprocket. Um, I didn't put the decomp, I left the decomp in there, but it's all kind of oily and carboned up around there, so I'm assuming I've got a plug uh, here that I'm going to put in if I need to. Um, and then, you know, of course, the base gasket was uh, misinstalled. So it was about 10 hours labor that I've got into the saw now. And even as low as 20 bucks an hour for my time, that's 200 bucks, uh, plus an additional 200 bucks in parts, not including the tank, which I had. So uh, 400 bucks, and let's say that I spent uh, 300 bucks on the saw. There's 700 bucks, that's about the going price for the 270 or 2071, 2072, I think, 2171, whatever the OE uh, style is here with the decomp on the side and the non X torque version of the Johnsford. So, if you can find a really nice gone through um, 2071 or, or 2171, whatever the OE one is with the 50 millimeter, you know, that's been gone through with seals, O-rings, and somebody from, you know, that you trust going through it, 700 bucks is actually a pretty good deal, right? So, and th this one actually turned out better than expected. 
because uh, the cylinder was in good shape. Brand new muffler on it. You know, a lot of good things going for it. All right, first start since uh, going through the whole thing. So this is going to be heat cycle number one. Of course, I heat cycle all my stuff. So this will be heat cycle number one and seeing if it will start. Yeah, the decomp didn't pop out. That's not a good sign. <laughs> a little bit of oil in there and stuff still. I think I had these set at like one and a half turns each. Um, I'm going to bump up the throttle until we figure out where it likes to live here. Turn that low end just a touch. Turn the high end just a touch. I won't need the high jet for right now, so let's try it again like that. Well, we are cooled back down to atmosphere. Let's see if this thing will refire. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Gas. All over my pants. Great. I definitely think this is going to be a candidate for some plastic welding. Because uh, looking at those prices one more time, I was like, eh, I'm not going to pull the trigger. This is never going to be one of those, you know, showroom restored condition type of saws. But let's see how it restarts here after it's cooled down. Um, good news is the uh, worm gear didn't blow out. We're still catching on that uh, on that worm um, and it's doing good. So nice break in there. Nice slow at idle. Uh, it likes it like right about one turn but I'm like way turned in on my idle adjustments. So let's see how it restarts. Yeah, it doesn't like to pop the decomp out so I'll just do it. Oh, it's got good compression now. We'll keep that decomp in. so funny how things change. I used to be doing this 15 years ago with my dirt bikes, rebuilding them, getting <laughs> ready for this next uh, Sunday's race or Saturday's race. But uh, let's see here, we're on our third heat cycle. I've got my tachometer out here. I'm going to let it warm up a little bit and then we will put the tack on it and get it set right about 13,000. I think that's where these like to live, maybe 13.5. Who knows? Let's see where we end up here. But uh, let's see how it restarts the third go-round with a little choke. Well, let's, not, uh, let's not flood it. Well, that was three successful heat cycles on the Mechanic Special eBay. My favorite saw is just turning out to be a big pile of goo. Um, I mean, that, that carve and the way it sounds stock is just... Even with the base gasket delete, I need to get a muffler mod on here, like, pretty bad. Um, and this carb does actually run similar to, like, the G372, right? Where it's not 
it's not really happy unless it's one turn or below on high and low. It's weird. So, anyways, uh, keep that in mind if you uh, are looking for a mechanic special, cheap eBay saw. I mean, this was actually a, a pretty not bad scenario, right? It could have been cylinder, and then it could have been a whole wormhole. This one at least had good cases, uh, good cylinder, good carb. You know, bones are good. Like nothing is too broken, uh, but still. You know, it was 200 bucks in parts and 10 hours in labor. So, there you go. Anyways, get out there. Have you some man time, too.